Yo, hey guys, it's Beast, back with some more Beastly content, and today I'm on some beautiful Tokyo Gold Rebirth. So, basically, I'm just gonna take all the free-to-play units, I'm gonna use them in a team, and I'm just gonna see how good they are. So, one of them, I think, is kind of like a cheat free-to-play, because it's the Territory Wars uh, Kaneki, and I really, I don't consider him a free-to-play unit. But anyway, so I'm gonna quickly list off the units here. So, we're using Rize up front, we're using the Kaneki from Territory Wars up front, we're using the Sasaki, the SR Sasaki. We're using a little Kaneki you get from one of the just free-to-play forum events. We're using Toka, and we're using a free-to-play Nichiki. Now there's two free-to-play Nichikis, I'm just using one of them. We'll quickly just see what his skill does. Uh, deals attack times 1.4 damage to one enemy four times. Small chance to inflict paralysis, paralysis for two turns. And paralysis lowers their AP. And their AP is just the number of times they can attack. So basically whenever they're under paralysis, they will go from attacking like 10 billion times to like 2 or whatever it is. And it, I think it depends on the character on how much the paralysis is lowered, or how much the paralysis lowers, but yeah. So we're just going to take this team and we're going to take it against one who devours Kaneki. And we'll do it on, I mean A is really, we'll do it on A, even though I have a full SSR team that can sometimes get punched in the face by A. But that's okay. So hopefully it's saved here. Okay, good. The team did save here. I thought for a second I was gonna have to redo the team. But that's fine. Wouldn't it take took that long anyway? Use the SR Kaneki as well. Because I have him at 100% now too. But yeah, the Sasuke is at 100%. As you can that's a really nice looking spin there. Oh, hold up, we're auto that We don't wanna do that. I think actually this Sasuke at 100 percent becomes really strong. Oh, we are comboing so much right now. Yeah, we're just gonna let it auto for now. I don't see a reason not to, because it looks like we're just gonna... This Sasuke's really good at 100%, actually, I think. Yeah, that was the first stage of that wipe. So... Right now, especially, when it comes to, like, released units... That looks really nice at 100%. Uh, when it comes to released units, there really isn't that many units out right now when it comes to, like, good units. Like, the only Rebirth Festival units we have is one CCG unit, one ghoul unit, and the ghoul unit's the only unit I actually like from the two. That was second round, gone instantly. So, it looks like we're doing a decent amount of damage. Let's see how it goes on the final stage, though. And, yeah, like, I don't think there's anything harder than this right now. I suppose, I suppose if we look at total damage right here, we can just see how much damage this team can do against, let's say, the raid when Territory Wars comes back. But we are waiting right now for Territory Wars to come back. Right now we're kind of in the build-up period, I believe they were calling it. Okay, so that was quite a bit of damage, actually, right away. Let's just see how defense goes. So that's my main worry, actually, is how the defense and everything will go, because... The only unit on here with a lot of defense, and I call it a cheat free-to-play because it's the Territory Warriors Kaneki, uh, is the Territory Warriors Kaneki. He has so much defense. Like, even compared to some of the premium summon units, this Kaneki is a really nice unit. It hits really hard. It's like 3k a crap ton of times. Like, seriously, this team's wiping right now. It's a full free-to-play team. But we'll see as it goes along on the game if these free-to-plays remain relevant or if free-to-plays in general in this game remain relevant or if it's more of a, after all the Rebirth Festival units release, all these free-to-plays are worthless. And I really wonder how this Territory Wars Kaneki is going to hold up over time. Because right now, it's really strong unit. But what happens when we get a bunch of, like, there's half Kakuja, uh Kaneki coming. There's all sorts of other really crazy Rebirth Festival units coming that are currently on JP. And how will these units hold out compared to them? And also... Even the current Rebirth Festival units, like, I don't think they're that good on JP right now because they're, true. they're overshadowed by... Yeah. Also, this free-to-play Kaneki here, he's alright. Well, we didn't really test out the Toka or the Nichigi the whole time because this SR Sasaki is just wiping. They do specifically point out that they're giving him to you for free, and he is only an SR, but look at it wipe this event. Like, this... There's no trouble here. No one's died, and everyone's health is pretty high. It's pretty crazy looking. Also, wow, just look at that gauge there on that free-to-play Sasuke. Like, it's legit, legit just login bonus as well. Like, you just have to farm some of the weapon mods, and you can get them to weapon level 10. Really nice unit. And yeah, this is just wiping. The only thing left is the Nichigi, and he's not even the main part of the event. It's the Kaneki that's the main part of the event. Though, this Nichigi can do stuff too. But it does look like we're just... Oh, that was mine. 
Oh, there's a test for mine finally, and Toka's finally up there. But no one's dead yet. Oh, Toka takes a lot more damage because of the health. That's gonna suck. That Konaki's probably dead by now. Yeah, there it is. Alright, but the event's over now. Go, Rize, finish her off. Or at least get close to it. Oh, Rize doesn't attack. That's right. Alright, it should be over this round. Well, actually we have a lot of the lower doing damage units up there. If I was playing it, I probably would have swapped out and just went for the Sasuke right away. And let him just finish the event off. I don't really know why the auto battle didn't decide to do that. Because it'd be an over with map. But here, we're gonna stop the auto battle actually. And just do it ourselves. Well, Toga's probably gonna finish it off here actually. Never mind. I like the Toga by the way. I think she attacks really hard actually. Like... This, that's a really nice attack, especially for a free to play unit. That was nice looking. Alright, so there we go. Super easy. The A difficulty is wiped with this free to play team. So, I don't really think there's a reason to summon right now. Like, if you don't, like, I don't know, because you can wipe everything with this full free to play team. And it's, it's nice to summon. As you can see, some of these units are 60%, 40%, 100%, 60%, 40%, 40%. So, it's nice to- okay, there's another Nichiki dude as well. Nice! I'm trying to get these guys at 100% because I wanted to showcase them at 100%, but it's just taking so long for them to drop. I've ran this event so many times and still haven't got them all to drop. It's really annoying. Like, I've gotten some drops, but I need- I think I need a few more. Like, you need one drop initially and then five more to 100%, and it's just kind of annoying. Finish with an overkill. That's the only thing I've yet to do on this, and it annoys me, because I've gotten the other first two difficulties done. And let's go quickly check, missions-wise, what we have to do when it comes to limited event missions. Kaneki, A rank five times. One who devours Kaneki, B rank ten times. Ken Kaneki protecting his friend, weapon upgrades three. Okay. We're gonna do one who devours Toka. Is that A rank? Yeah. The thing is, though, I have a feeling we could get another event for the fourth material on a lot of characters. Like, we should have events for that. So then we can farm those events, but make them a really high difficulty. So it's kind of like... Or make them a really high difficulty. Have it where they drop that fourth material, but they also drop, like, more likely drop SR things than just, you know, rares and rare up weapon upgrades. Because right now... The biggest annoyance here is farming up weapon upgrade point or mods, and you get like five, six hundred, maybe even seven or eight hundred stacks of the rare ones. Then you get the SR and you have like twenty each, and it's just really annoying. We need a better way of getting the SR mods because even on the final difficulty of weapon mod wards, it's just it's really annoying. You get nothing but a bunch of rares and like two SRs, and I understand it's a higher rarity sort of drop rate, but it's really getting annoying because. You're gonna get maxed out on the rare weapon upgrade, so you'll get to like level 3 instantly on any character. But SR wise, you're gonna sit there and farm for hours just trying to get one character to level 10, weapon upgrade wise. Like the only character I have at level 10 right now, weapon upgrade wise, is this free to play Sasaki, and that's because he was easier to upgrade than a lot of the units. It is a really good unit though, I really do like it. But. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty pretty cool. Attack, defense, and guard up, and then also does a decent amount of damage. Has 12 AP once it's 100%. Pretty nice. The chance to break a unit is pretty high with 12 AP on one unit, and then the rest of them have a decent amount of AP as well. Overall, the free-to-play units in this game are not slacking right now, but we will see how they are in a few months down the road when we do have a bunch more pay-to-win units and hopefully some harder events. Like, a lot of these events are really easy, like, especially because you can just let them auto-battle. Like, I want some events to where you have to actually play for a bit. And I like Territory Wars, because Territory Wars is fun. But these events are pretty easy. Like, you wipe basically everything with a decent team. And even, this is a full free-to-play team. But everyone on this unit team is free-to-play, and I still say Territory Wars Kaneki is like a cheap free-to-play because it's really good free-to-play like it has some better stats than summonable units in this game like it's really good and i get it's a reward for territory wars and like trying really hard in the main part of the game but really is a good unit definitely suggest at least what next territory wars at least getting to the minimum requirement to get the one dupe and if you want to go hard on Territory Wars, go for it, but I'd say, I'd rather you not, so I can go harder on Territory Wars and get higher rank and get more dupes and Kaneki. But, if you want to go hard, I, it's definitely worth it to get a few dupes in this Kaneki. This Kaneki, I believe, has two dupes for me, and he hits 
relatively hard. I think I just really need three more dupes. So I need the free dupe that I, oh, I need the one I'd get from Territory Points next Territory Wars. I need to get two dupes. So I need to get like rank 150 or so again. And then I'll have 100% Kaneki. And I won't care about the next Territory War for the next part besides the Kaku gems until the next unit like Sasuke releases. And Toka's event is harder. I should probably not be auto battling it. Let's, let's go ahead and use the player turn here. And we're just gonna try and dump out all the damage we can right now. Yeah, we're just gonna dump out all the damage we can right now. We're gonna swap units and everything because this event can hit very hard. Okay, we're actually one down from actually breaking. I'd really like to break them so I can, you know, have a bunch more attacks. There's a break. Okay. And I don't want to leave Toka up there because I don't think it's a good idea. Besides, I can put the Kaneki back and he has a crap ton of defense anyway. And oh, we have three more laying on. Oh, there we go. It's over. There we go. Yeah, if I auto-battled that, I have a feeling the auto-battle system would have done something stupid and I would have died. Because I've watched it die a couple times when I left it on auto-battle for Toka. But if I play it, I'll wipe through it because I just try and get the most damage. But I do suppose that is all. That is all of the- well, it's not all of the free-to-play units. But that is a team of the free-to-play units. The free-to-play units, I think, are maybe not the best, but they're, they're, they're the ones I like the most. And the Kaneki is 100% the best free-to-play in the game. If you even call him free to play because he's technically a rewards card and I suppose it's like a season rewards card and I really, I don't like calling it a free to play card because it doesn't feel right to me. But, you know, yeah. The Kaneki's really a good free to play unit. The Sasuke's actually really good and he's only SR. And then also there's another unit they give enough SRs for to 100%. And I will tell you right now. Is not a slacking unit either. Let's quickly just take a look at its stats, because I have it at 100% as well. I don't think I have its weapon leveled up all the way, but yeah, deals attack times 1.2 damage to one enemy five times, chance to inflict bleed for three turns, and reduce, reduces durability by one. And bleed is like a damage over time thing where they take damage over time, and that's a free to play SR unit that they give all the dupes to you for free and some weapon upgrade stuff to finish it off. Like, I'm, I think, one weapon mod down from being 100%. Definitely a good unit, definitely worth picking up in my eyes, but I do suppose that is all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and keep it peaceful. I'm out, see us.